Arezzo, Italian pronunciation, Arezzo, is a city and commune in Italy and the capital of the province of the same name located in Tuscany. Arezzo is about 80 kilometers 50 miles southeast of Florence at an elevation of 296 meters 971 feet above sea level. It is also 30 kilometers west of Città di Castello. In 2013 the population was about 99,000. History Described by Livy as one of the Capiti Atrie, Etruscan capitals, Arezzo Aritim in Etruscan, is believed to have been one of the twelve most important Etruscan cities. The so-called Dodecapolis, part of the Etruscan League. Etruscan remains establish that the Acropolis of San Cornelio, a small hill next to that of San Donatus, was occupied and fortified in the Etruscan period. There is other significant Etruscan evidence, parts of walls, an Etruscan necropolis on Poggio del Sol, still named Hill of the Sun, and most famously, the two bronzes, the Chimera of Arezzo, 5th century BC, and the Minerva, 4th century BC, which were discovered in the 16th century and taken to Florence. Increasing trade connections with Greece also brought some elite goods to the Etruscan nobles of Arezzo, the crater painted by Euphronios c. 510 BC depicting a battle against Amazons, in the Museo Civico, Arezzo 1465, is unsurpassed. Conquered by the Romans in 311 BC, Aricium became a military station on the Via Cassia, the road by which Rome expanded into the basin of the Po. Aricium sided with Marius in the Roman Civil War, and the victorious Sulla planted a colony of his veterans in the half-demolished city, as Aricium Fidens. Faithful Aricium. The old Etruscan aristocracy was not extinguished. Gaius Silnius Macinus, whose name is eponymous with patron of the arts, was of the noble Aretine Etruscan stock. The city continued to flourish as Aricium Betis. Old Aricium. The third largest city in Italy in the Augustan period, well known in particular for its widely exported pottery manufactures, the characteristic molded and glazed Aretine ware, Bucaro ware of dark clay and red painted vases, the so-called coral vases. Around 261 AD the town council of Arezzo dedicated an inscription to its patron El Petronius Taurus Volusianus. See that article for discussion of the possible political, military significance of Volusianus's association with the city. In the 3rd to 4th century Arezzo became an episcopal seat, it is one of the few cities whose succession of bishops are known by name without interruption to the present day, in part because they were the feudal lords of the city in the Middle Ages. The Roman city was demolished, partly through the Gothic War and the invasion of the Lombards, partly dismantled, as elsewhere throughout Europe, and the stones reused for fortifications by the Aretans. Only the amphitheater remained. The commune of Arezzo threw off the control of its bishop in 1098 and was an independent city-state until 1384. Generally Ghibelline in tendency, it opposed Guelph Florence. In 1252 the city founded its university, the Studium. After the rout of the Battle of Compaldino, 1289, which saw the death of Bishop Guglielmino Ubertini, the fortunes of Ghibelline Arezzo started to ebb, apart from a brief period under the Tarlati family, chief among them Guido Tarlati, who became bishop in 1312 and maintained good relations with the Ghibelline party. The Tarlati sought support in an alliance with Forli and its overlords, the Ortlafi, but failed. Arezzo yielded to Florentine domination in 1384. Its individual history was subsumed by that of Florence and the Medicean Grand Duchy of Tuscany. During this period, Piero della Francesca worked in the Church of San Francesco di Arezzo, producing the splendid frescoes, recently restored, which are Arezzo's most famous works. Afterwards the city began an economical and cultural decay, which ensured that its medieval center was preserved. In the 18th century the neighboring marshes of the Val di Chiana, south of Arezzo, were drained and the region became less malarial. At the end of the century French troops led by Napoleon Bonaparte conquered Arezzo, but the city soon turned into a resistance base against the invaders with the Viva Maria movement, winning the city the role of provincial capital. In 1860 Arezzo became part of the Kingdom of Italy. 
City buildings suffered heavy damage during World War II. The Germans made a stand in front of Arezzo early in July 1944 and there was fierce fighting before the town was taken and liberated on 16 July by the British 6th Armoured Division assisted by New Zealand troops from the 2nd New Zealand Division. The Commonwealth War Graves Commission's Arezzo War Cemetery, where 1,266 men are buried, is located to the northwest of the city. Pope Benedict XVI visited Arezzo and two other Italian municipalities on May 13, 2012. Geography Arezzo is set on a steep hill rising from the floodplain of the River Arno. In the upper part of the town are the cathedral, the town hall and the Medici fortress Forteza Medicia, from which the main streets branch off towards the lower part as far as the gates. The upper part of the town maintains its medieval appearance despite the addition of later structures. Arezzo's city proper is near the high-risk areas for earthquakes, but located in a transitional area where the risk for severe earthquakes is much lower than in nearby Umbria and Abruzzo, albeit it is slightly more vulnerable than Florence. Notable earthquakes are still a very rare phenomenon in the province, with a 4.6 quake 25 kilometers 16 miles to its northeast that claimed no lives on 26 November 2001 the exception. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification Arezzo is either a humid subtropical climate or an oceanic climate CFA, CFB, having traditionally leaned towards the latter. It has uncharacteristically hot summer days for a maritime climate, with the lows moderating the average temps and bringing it to sit right on the border with subtropical. Government Main sites Piazza Grande the Piazza Grande is the most noteworthy medieval square in the city, opening behind the 13th-century Romanesque apse of Santa Maria della Pieve. Once the main marketplace of the city, it is currently the site of the Giostra del Saracino. Joust of the Saracen. It has a sloping pavement in red brick with limestone geometrical lines. Aside from the apse of the church, other landmarks of the square include the Palace of the Lay Fraternity, Fraternita dei Laci, 14th-15th century palazzo, with a Gothic ground floor and a Quattrocento second floor by Bernardo Rossellino. The Vasari Loggia along the north side, a flat mannerist facade designed by Giorgio Vasari. Episcopal Palace, seat of the bishops, rebuilt in the mid-13th century. The interior has frescoes by Salva Castellucci, Teofilo Torri and Pietro Benvenuti. In front of the palace is the monument to Grand Duke Ferdinando I de' Medici 1595 by Pietro Francavilla following a design of Giambologna. Palazzo Cofani Brizzolari, with the Torre Fagiolana. Remains of the communal palace and the Palazzo del Popolo can also be seen. Churches Santa Maria della Pieve, the most striking feature of this Romanesque church is the massive, square-planned bell tower with double orders of mullioned windows. The church was built in the 12th century over a pre-existing Paleo-Christian edifice, and was renovated a century later with the addition of the characteristic facade made of loggias with small arches surmounted by all different styled columns. Also from the same century is the lunette with the Virgin between two angels and the sculptures of the months 1216 over the main portal. The interior has a nave and two aisles, with a transept also added in the 13th century. In the following century chapels, niches and frescoes were added, including the Polyptych of Virgin with Child and Saints by Pietro Lorenzetti 1320. In the crypt is a relic bust of Saint Donatus 1346. From the same epoch is the hexagonal baptismal font, with panels of the histories of St. John the Baptist, by Giovanni D'Agostino. The P was again renovated by Giorgio Vasari in 1560. Cathedral of St. Donatus 13th, early 16th centuries, the facade of this Gothic-style church remained unfinished, and was added in the 20th century. The interior has a nave and aisles divided by massive pilasters. The left aisle has a fresco by Piero della Francesca portraying the Madeleine. Noteworthy are also the medieval stained glass, the Tarlati Chapel 1334, and the Gothic tomb of Pope Gregory X. 
Basilica of San Francesco, 13th-14th centuries, built in Tuscan Gothic style. Of the projected facade cover in sculpted stone only the lower band was completed. The interior has a single nave. The main attraction is the history of the True Cross fresco, 1453 to 1464, cycle by Piero della Francesca in the Bocci Chapel. Under the church is another basilica with a nave and two aisles, Basilica Inferiore, today used for art exhibitions. Basilica of San Domenico, founded in 1275 and completed in the early 14th century, the interior has a single nave with a crucifix by Cimabue, a masterwork of 13th century Italian art. Other artworks include a Sts. Philip and James the Younger and St. Catherine by Spinello Aretino and other 14th century painting and sculpture decorations. Santissimi Annunziata San Michele, this church has a modern facade. Traces of the original Romanesque edifice and the Gothic restoration can be seen in the interior. Santa Maria in Gradi This medieval church was initially built in the 11th or the 12th century, but reconstructed in the late 16th century by Bartolomeo Amanati. The interior has a single nave with stone altars 17th century, and a Madonna of Misericordia, terracotta by Andrea della Rabbia. Church of St. Augustine, founded in 1257, modified in the late 15th and the late 18th centuries. The facade and the interior decoration are largely from Baroque times. The square plan bell tower is from the 15th century. Badia della Sante Flora e Lucilla, 12th century, the abbey was built by Benedictine monks in the 12th century, it was totally restored in the 16th century under the direction of Giorgio Vasari. The octagonal bell tower is from 1650. The interior, in Mannerist style, has an illusionistic canvas depicting a false dome by Andrea Pozzo, 1702. There are also a St. Lawrence fresco by Bartolomeo della Gatta, 1476, and a crucifix by Segna di Buonaventura, 1319. San Lorenzo, one of the most ancient of the city, having been built before the year 1000, most likely in Paleo-Christian times. Rebuilt in the 13th century and restored in 1538, it was totally rebuilt in 1705. The apse exterior is in Romanesque style. Santa Maria della Grazi, a late Gothic sanctuary with a Renaissance portal by Benedetto da Maiano, 1490. It has also a marble high altar by Andrea della Rabbia including a pre-existing fresco by Pari di Spinello, 1428-1431. The sanctuary was built over a font dedicated to Apollo, which was destroyed by San Bernardino of Siena in 1428, building an oratory in its place. The church was erected in 1435-1444 and has a chapel entitled to St. Bernardino. Santa Maria Agrati, 1591, a monastery existing already in 1043. It has a Baroque interior, but with an altar by a collaborator of Andrea della Rabbia. Santissima Trinita, this church was built in 1348, it was totally renovated in 1723-1748 in Baroque style. It houses a 14th-century crucifix, a banner painted by Giorgio Vasari in 1572, a painting of Noli mi Tangere by Alessandro Allori, 1584, and other artworks. Santa Maria Maddalena, built in 1561 over a pre-14th-century structure. It houses a Madonna with Child, Madonna of the Rose, by Spinello Aretino, visible in the high altar, c. 1525, designed by Guillaume de Marcellet. It is now private property. P. V. San Paolo, in San Paolo, erected as Paleo-Christian baptismal church, rebuilt in the 8th-9th centuries and then rebuilt in Romanesque style in the 13th century. The bell tower is from the 14th-15th centuries. The entire church was again renovated after the 1796 earthquake. It has kept 15th-century frescoes by Laurentino d'Andrea and a ciborium. The transept entrance has granite columns with marble capitals from the 5th century AD. P. V. Santugenia al Bagnoro, in Bagnoro. Documented from 1012, it was one of the most important Pievi of the diocese during the Middle Ages. The presbytery area is from the 12th century, while the rest is from the 11th century. The belt tower, partially ruined, stands on one of the three apses. 
Pv di San Donino a Mayano, at Palazzo del Puro, 6th 9th centuries. Documented from 1064, it replaced a Paleo Christian baptismal church. The frontal part was rebuilt in the 14th century. The apse has 15th century frescoes and a wooden Madonna with child from the same age. Others Roman Amphitheater and Museum Palazzo dei Priori, erected in 1333, has been the seat of the city's magistratures until today. The edifice was numerous times restored and renovated. The interior has a court from the 16th century, a stone statue portraying a Madonna with child, 1339, frescoes, busts of illustrious Aretans, two paintings by Giorgio Vasari. The square tower is from 1337. Medici Fortress, Forteza Medicia, designed by Antonio da Sangallo the Younger and completed in 1538-1560. It was partly dismantled by the French in the early 19th century. Palazzo Camayani Albergata, 14th century, renovated in the 16th century, with the Torre della Bagaza. Palazzo Bruni Chocchi, Renaissance edifice attributed to Bernardo Rossellino. It is seat of the State Museum of Medieval and Modern Art. Palazzo Pretorio, which was seat of the People's Captain until 1290. The facade has coat of armas of the captains, podesta and commissaries of the city from 14th to 18th century. Only one of the two original towers remains. House of Petrarch, Casa del Petrarca. Casa Vasari, in Via XX September, an older house rebuilt in 1547 by Giorgio Vasari and frescoed by him, now open as a museum, it also contains 16th-century archives. The main rooms were decorated by Vasari in an illusionist manner. The drawing room, where Vasari painted the life journey of an artist, with the artistic virtues protected by the gods of Antiquite represented as heavenly bodies, is remarkable. Ivan Bruschi House and Museum Casa Museo. Ivan Bruschi. GAIO Silnio Mesonate Archaeological Museum. Civic Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Unaware Jewelry Museum. Festivals. Arezzo is home to an annual international competition of choral singing Concorso Polifonico Guido di Arezzo, International Guido di Arezzo Polyphonic Contest Arezzo is home to an annual medieval festival called the Saracen Joust Giostra del Saracino. In this nights on horseback representing different areas of the town charge at a wooden target attached to a carving of a Saracen king and score points according to accuracy. Virtually all the town's people dress up in medieval costume and enthusiastically cheer on the competitors. From 1986 to 2006 Arezzo was also home to an annual popular music and culture festival, each July, called Arezzo Wave. Publicly funded, it attracts bands of high repute and attendees from all over Europe and North America. It also features literary and film expositions. In 2007 it was replaced by Play Arezzo Art Festival, still about rock music, involving local bands. Some artists invited in 2007 and 2008 are, Negrita, Peter Gabriel, Lou Reed, Joan Baez, Ben Harper, Goran Bregovic, Carmen Consoli, Max Gaz, Peter Brook. In popular culture, Arezzo has a starring role in Roberto Benigni's film Life is Beautiful, La Vida e Bella, 1997. It is the place in which the main characters live before they are shipped off to a Nazi concentration camp. Arishium was used in the PC game Rome, Total War as the capital of the Roman faction of Julii. Famous residents See category, people from Arezzo, which includes people actually born in town. Giovanni Filippo Apolloni, 17th century poet and librettist, born in Arezzo. Pietro Aretino, author, playwright, poet and satirist, inventor modern literate pornography. Roberto Benigni, actor and director. Daniele Benatti, cyclist. 
Guido D'Arezzo, music theorist of the Middle Ages, inventor of modern music notation, born in Arezzo around the year 991. Piero della Francesca, painter, born in the province of Arezzo and spent most of his life in the city. Bartolomeo di Esser Garello, author of the first town chronicle of Arezzo. Luke Ferrari, avant garde composer. Federico Luzzi, professional tennis player. Petrarch, poet. Michelangelo, artist, born near the town. Negrita, rock band. Poggio Bracciolini, artist, born near the town. Francesco Reddy, 17th century physician. Dylan and Cole Sprouse, American actors, born in Arezzo. Giorgio Vasari, painter, architect, and biographer. Sports Associazione Calcio Arezzo, AC. Arezzo, Vasari Rugby Arezzo. Club Samazatori Calypso Federazione Italiana Adavita Subacchi, says. Tur. Arezzo, diving. Hamlets. International relations. University of Oklahoma campus. The University of Oklahoma of Norman, Oklahoma, United States, has a branch campus in Arezzo. On September 10, 2010, the University of Oklahoma Foundation, a non-profit organization organized for the purpose of receiving and administering gifts for the benefit of the University of Oklahoma, purchased the Monastery of St. Clair of the Order of Poor Clares Monastero de Esquiara del Orden de la Clarice in Arezzo. The building will be leased from the foundation by the university. Operation and renovation of the monastery will be by the university. The former monastery was built in the 18th century. Zach Masai, Ph.D., Dean of the University's College of International Studies, said that the Arezzo campus programs are designed to provide students with a unique exposure to the local culture. As a way to foster a relationship between the campus and the city, students will be required to take a class that gets them involved with the local community. Twin towns, sister cities Arezzo is twinned with See also Gian Francesco Gamurini, an early Etruscologist References Bibliography See also, Bibliography of the History of Arezzo Further reading Black, Robert, 2011. Studies in Renaissance Humanism and Politics, Florence and Arezzo. Burlington, Vermont, Farnham. Brooks, Perry, 1992. Piero della Francesca, The Arezzo Frescos. N.Y., Rizzoli. Sigilman, Mario, 2010. The Minerva of Arezzo. Florence, Edizioni Polistampa. Iozo, Mario, ed. 2009. The Chimera of Arezzo. Florence, Edizioni Polistampa. External links. Official website in Italian Information about Arezzo and Province in Italian Giostra del Saracino official website and photos of Arezzo and the Joust Porta Crucifera's Knights, official site of the Porta Crucifera Cordiere, Joust of the Saracen Bill Thayer's site including George Dennis's chapter on the Etruscan city and further links Information about Arezzo and Province